Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to show you exactly how to create retargeting lists automatically inside of Facebook. It's a really cool tool that you can use. So basically when people go to your website, you're going to be able to create automatic segmented lists so that you can show people offers based on the content that you're putting out. It's a really cool trick and it saves you tons of time and basically lets you help to set up funnels that automatically drive people in to become customers. So it's a pretty cool trick. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I do daily marketing videos, so if you're looking to grow your business with digital marketing, I talk about everything from Facebook ads to Google ads to email marketing to SEO, all things digital marketing here on this channel. So if you're looking to grow your business with digital marketing, please consider subscribing. And um, if you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. So inside of Facebook, there is a really cool feature that allows you to create custom audiences based on people who've been to your specific website pages. So in order to get this to work, you're going to have to do a little bit of planning. First, it's important to think about who are the target uh, audience that you're going to be targeting and what are the offers that they're going to be wanting to, you're, you're going to want them to drive into to become customers and clients. So once you have that figured out and you're understanding exactly what your offer is in mind, creating content around that offer is important. And so when you have a Facebook page and you're posting like blog posts or videos or content like that that come from your website, you're able to install what's called a tracking pixel. And a Facebook tracking pixel allows you to then track the people who've been on your website. And you can set up specific rules that allow them to show up only if they've done a certain activity. We're going to be using custom audience creation inside of Facebook Business Manager. And what we're going to do is create custom audiences that have URL paths that are with a specific keyword. So when you're creating content on your website, it's important that you have what's called a naming convention. So having a naming convention allows you to create posts that have in the URL that it says the name of the, the topic that you're going to be covering, for example. So let's use an example. I work with a lot of veterinarians. So let's talk about um, dogs and cats, right? Because you have cat owners and dog owners. They have very different needs and also de very different behaviors. Like for example, cat owners are a lot more reluctant to bring their cats in just because it's more difficult, right? So if you're creating content and you show an offer that's for dog owners or you show do an offer for cat owners, you don't want to be mixing up the two audiences, okay? So we're going to jump in the computer here. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. It's pretty simple. And once you finish, I think you're going to be able to really enjoy having your content do a lot more work for you. And you're going to be able to show offers to people who are engaging with your specific content. Okay, so inside of Facebook, we're going to go to Ads Manager. You can do this through both Business Manager and Ads Manager. Um, I'll show you inside of Ads Manager. It's exactly the same. You're just going to go to business.facebook instead of Ads Manager like that. But what we're going to do is now go over here to audiences. And then we're going to create audiences. We're going to create a custom audience. And we're going to use website traffic. So we need to, first of all, have a pixel. This ad account doesn't have an active pixel. So let me get into an ad account that has an active pixel. And so the example that I used specifically here was um, website traffic and using dogs and cats. So if we have, for example, a custom audience here, we're going to be targeting cat owners, right? So we want people that are engaging with the content that we're creating that is going to be cat related. So we click on website traffic here. We do website visitors, people who visit specific web pages. And if the URL contains dogs, then we're able to target people. So as long as anytime we're creating traffic here, we need to include the keyword or the segment that we're trying to target in that. I think that's beneficial from an SEO standpoint, where you're gonna have the keyword in the URL, but then we also just need to have in that naming convention. So whenever you create a new post and it's about dogs, dogs goes in there. Or if you create a new post and it's about cats, cats go in there. And that way you're going to automatically target and be able to remarket to these people that are engaging with these specific posts. Now, here's something you can go up to 180 days inside of Facebook. So depending on your strategy, you're going to want to make sure that you're putting in um, a long enough duration that you're able to build an audience. So this depends on how much traffic you have coming into your business. Um, and then at the same time, you're going to want to be able to target people that are more recent. 
So, you know, it depends. With If you have a substantial amount of people that are coming into your website every single day, create different audiences based on time here and then test those. Obviously, people who engage more recently will typically be better target market just because they'll remember you more frequently. So think about that. But this is a really simple way to automatically build those, those custom audiences and continue to remarket them. Now, that's the whole point of creating content. We need to be targeting people who are engaging with our content. And especially on Facebook, as cost per clicks go up, this becomes much more of a branding platform and less of a targeting direct cold traffic. Because if you're able to target direct cold traffic, you might as well, especially as cost per clicks go up, you might as well be targeting people on Google AdWords simply because that platform has intent behind it, right? Somebody searching for something versus somebody discovering something. So um, just a few things to, to think about. Let's jump back in the office real quick and, and wrap this up now. All right, so I hope that that was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing. I appreciate you watching, and I hope that you subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.